Another set of guidelines being overhauled is what to do if you see someone drowning. 81 people drowned here last year, and worldwide it's the third most common cause of unintentional death. Here's Erin Conroy with All You Need To Know. Uh, that one there? No. Can you spot the drowning child? Yeah. He just got rescued before you noticing. Oh, that's guy. Excellent. What would you think you'd see someone doing if they were in trouble? Raising their hands? Well, no, that's a misconception. They're very low on the water and that very distinctive flapping motion um, of um, basically being propelled up, disappearing under, being propelled up, disappearing under. In children it's a bit different. It often looks as though they're sort of dog paddling. I think the key message is don't expect them to be calling out and waving for help. And if these drawings are anything to go by, it was time for a drowning prevention update. We felt that there were a number of really important interventions from a drowning perspective that were, uh, were, uh, were missing. So the new steps are prevention, common sense stuff like pool fences and advanced swimming lessons, recognise distress, the flapping arms or doggy paddle in kids, flotation, life rings, great, but anything will do, chilli bins, boogie boards, even an empty milk bottle, and this is the most crucial part. Once they've got that flotation, um, that's interrupted the drowning process. Final stages remove the victim from the water and provide care. If CPR is required, both compressions and breathing is recommended. It's been publicised um, right around the world. It's used in education of not just um, professional rescuers like lifeguards, but members of the public uh, as well. New Zealand's drowning statistics are improving, even with 81 deaths last year, but hopefully now we can all help bring that down further. Erin Conroy, One News.